A few weeks ago, I got an email from the director of this film, R.D. Womack, who had seen some of my movie reviews and wanted to send out an early screening of this movie in exchange for an honest review. Thank you so much to R.D. Womack for thinking of me, for uh, allowing me to be able to check out the movie before it was released. Very much appreciate it. Let's jump in. Hello? I have brought you here. You brought me here? What the hell for? You know, the Indians, they had these rituals where they send their boys off into the woods to survive. And when they came back, they earned the right to be called a man. Call of the Wolf is directed by R.D. Womack and is a story of someone who has been kidnapped and trapped in the middle of a winter storm who must survive the brutal onslaught of that storm and is forced to play a deadly game of survival to outsmart their kidnapper, a sniper calling himself the Wolf. This film was shot on location in a lot of the areas where I'm from actually, from Wyoming to Utah to Idaho, and it definitely shows. The location decisions for the film really help to make the environment its own character, kind of in a way similar to The Hateful Eight and The Revenant. The technical aspects of the film are all top-notch, very good quality. Also, the story is a very interesting concept, specifically between the main character and our sniper killer, Wolf. The idea that someone has put you in an arena that they have specifically designed for you to either live or die in, being orchestrated by a man who doesn't reveal himself until the- Wait a minute. Okay, sure, when you think about the story, it essentially is the love child of The Revenant and Saw. However, what the director was able to do with this movie is set it apart and make it more of a character-driven piece, more of like a thriller drama, and that gives it its own unique flavor to the movie. The first act is by far the strongest, introducing us to the wolf by way of only hearing him on a walkie-talkie, challenging and taunting our main character, who you see as immediately kind of a white, privileged, millennial, kind of man-child in a way. The motivations of this wolf, motivations of wolf, the wolf becomes clear as the story unravels, and it, I was kept in suspense. The motivations become very clear as the movie progresses in this slow burn thriller, and that kept me in suspense through the entire thing, wanting to know what really was the reason why this person got kidnapped in the first place. The issues with the film have nothing to do with like the technical aspects of the film. The lighting, camera work, sound, that's all done very well. But where the film drops off is unfortunately in its main character and in some of the pacing of the second act of this movie. In a film where the character's moments are brought into the spotlight, you expect to have them written and acted well from the performers. However, both of these things are missing in a majority of the film. The main character is set up to be unlikable, struggles through the entire film to win back the audience, and you can tell that the film is trying to get you to now be okay with the main character, that he's kind of redeemed himself. However, it didn't really feel earned. There's often a lot of weird pacing with the dialogue. There are some times where I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be slapstick humor, meant to be making fun of itself in type of a meta way, and that was what threw me out of the movie the most. Also, while I understand the wolf's motivation for kidnapping this guy, as well as a girl who's introduced halfway through the film, it just doesn't add up. And at the end of the film, you don't really feel any weight or gravity for what the characters are going through because you don't care about the characters. There are some silver linings, however. There's some mildly gruesome scenes that will satisfy horror fans for sure, as well as a very well shot finale that if the main issue of the film didn't exist would have been incredibly satisfying. That being said, I want to stress that every film has good or bad parts. Just in this case, I felt the movie was a little bit confused on what it was trying to present to the audience, whether it wanted to be a character piece or whether it was hoping to be some type of gruesome horror thriller. And with the main performances falling short, it left me wanting a lot more of the film. However, this was still a very good attempt. Technically, it looks great, and I'm going to give Call of the Wolf a 6 out of 10. I will post a link down below to the film and where you can go and get tickets if you're close. Thank you so much to the director, R.D. Womack, for letting me review this film. You've got tons of talent, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Again, thank you as always for watching, guys, and I will see you at the next review.